Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This would have been my week 37 and 38 week update. However, I did decide I'm just going to start from week 37 and kind of do a wrap up of my pregnancy in general. As always, I'll include photos and videos of my bump, let you know what's going on emotionally, physically, mentally, and medical updates. Um, and also at the very end, I just did a reflection on my whole pregnancy and I wanted to share some pieces of advice for you if you're coming up on the end of your pregnancy. I'm actually 40 weeks and five days, so coming up on week 41 and about to give birth any second here. So um, yeah, I'm just going to dive right into it, but make sure to stay till the end for um, those key pieces of advice if you're at week 37 because I definitely have some important things. So um, at week 37, I had had an 18 pound weight gain. Now that I'm only at, almost at week 41, I've had a 23 pound weight gain and my body feels really good. I'm still super active. I'm walking every day and working out separately from that for 45 minutes a day. So um, I'm not really getting any bigger, but the baby's getting bigger. I can feel major body parts moving around. Um, I'm not really having any negative symptoms per se. Like I still don't have any stretch marks, still really no like fatigue. Um, I've had to go to the bathroom, but that's been like throughout my entire pregnancy. Um, but no like signs of even contractions or anything like that. Some um, signs and symptoms that I did get that labor was coming on was I did start losing pieces of my mucus plug. I wouldn't say it was the full plug, but I definitely got some like yellow discharge that I hadn't had throughout my entire pregnancy. Um, and then when I get into the medical updates, I'll talk about getting my membranes swept, which my doctor has done a couple times already. So um, <clears throat> I have had cravings for pretty much the first time consistently throughout my whole pregnancy, which is really weird, um, which has been like sugar and sweet cravings. Um, and especially weird considering I still can't really taste or smell from when I had COVID. Um, I would say I've gotten about 35% of my taste and smell back. So um, really strange that I'm craving sweets. I'm trying to keep it to a minimum though and continue my healthy diet that I've had throughout my entire pregnancy. Um, mentally, I have ups and downs, overall feeling pretty good, um, but definitely go from being, you know, a little bit irritable to a little bit stressed. I feel like there is this ticking time bomb inside of me and it's an inevitable thing that's going to happen this trip to the hospital and the delivery. So I'm just praying that everything goes smoothly, um, but you can't help to start to get a little bit stressed as you think about how it all might go down. Um, life, everything, life update, everything is ready to go. Um, I could always think of more things I need to do at work to get our team prepped for me being gone. Um, so that's just an ongoing thing, but the more time that passes, the more stuff I feel like is in place and everyone's expecting me to leave. So that feels really good. Um, I wrote in my notes that I was hoping to be delivered by 39 weeks and now we're almost at 41. So everyone seems to be getting a little bit impatient, especially my husband and family and friends like are like, where is he? People put bets on his due date and um, right now um, myself and one other person are in the running for a late delivery guess. My guess was the 21st. Um, my due date was the 15th, so although I was hoping to deliver by week 39, I really, in my heart, thought that I would be past due. Um, so medically, my doctor, I've been at the doctor's every week um, going for check-ins, and that started around week 36. They've seen me every week. So she made me aware of what the signs of labor are, obviously water breaking, go straight to the hospital, contractions, um, the 511 rule, um, and then just anything out of the ordinary. She was more like, I'd rather you just go to the doctor or the hospital if you're concerned than like question whether or not you should go. So she's very like proactive. Like if there's anything out of the ordinary, just go to the hospital. Like don't call, just go. Um, so she made sure I got my breast pump, pump through insurance. You should always be able to get that for free, especially if you're in the US. I don't know about other countries, but um, your insurance will send you one. Just look it up online. It's super easy to do. 
Um, every time I've gone in, they give you the option of whether you want the doctor to check your cervix or not, which I think is really strange because um, it's like, I wanna know if I'm dilated or not, so I don't know why they give you the option. By week 39, I was a centimeter dilated, um, but that hasn't changed since that week. But she did say that my cervix felt really soft and it was getting ready and she would be very surprised if I was still pregnant next week. So it is now um, Saturday, so we really only have one more day in the week and then I'll be back there again on Monday. Um, I've had my membrane swept twice, which did cause me to bleed um, both times. The first time was a little worse than the second time. Um, the doctor was very surprised at my reaction of the membrane sweep. She said, wow, like you didn't even act like that hurt. And I was like, well, yeah, it was uncomfortable, but I wasn't gonna complain about it. And she's like, well, I'm really happy. Like I can feel the baby's head is right there. Um, you, and you're not super sensitive down there. You're a centimeter dilated. Like things look really optimistic for a really good vaginal birth, which I was happy about. Um, now that I'm past my due date though, I did have to go for a no non-stress test, which I did a separate video on. And I did a, like a live at the doctors on what they're checking. So basically they're making sure that baby's heart rate is still good, that he's moving around and checking to see if I'm having any contractions. So everything looked good. I did the non-stress test. I was there for like 20, 30 minutes. Um, and I'll link over to the video on that if you want to know exactly what that entails. And lastly, just to wrap everything up, because hopefully I won't be updating you guys on anything until I give birth. Um, my pieces of advice are, so I felt really good throughout my whole pregnancy. And if you're not, if you can exercise, I highly encourage you to exercise because for me, I'm so used to it. Um, it gives me more energy. It does not take away your energy. And a lot, that's a misconception from a lot of people. So if you haven't exercised your whole pregnancy, maybe now is not a great time to start, but at least walk every day. It'll make you feel good. Um, you're more likely to go into labor when you're not stressed. So um, make sure you're getting outside, getting walks. And when people tell you to rest, I would recommend get really good sleep. Like go to bed at a decent time, get up at a decent time, get really good sleep. But during the day, try to stay active, um, you know, to your comfort level and try to go on walks and get outdoors. My other piece of advice is to um, spend time with your husband. This is gonna be, if you're a first time mom, this is gonna be your last couple of weeks together. So be intimate, you know, go on dates, talk to each other. Like this is the last time it's gonna be just you and him as a family unit. Um, in addition to that, recommendation would be to take photos like, you know, your body is beautiful right now. If you're not gonna have any more kids, or even if you are, um, your body's never gonna look this exact way again. So make sure to capture the moments, get photos and videos of yourself, because um, they're gonna be really fun to look back on. And obviously with iPhones or smartphones, it's so easy to do. Um, De-stress and focus on the positive. So it can be stressful when like family and friends are texting you every day, like, did the baby come yet? Did the baby come yet? Like, how are you feeling? And it's like, even though they care, it can be a bit stressful, but um, I just have the mindset, like I feel really fortunate that there's so many people checking in on me. So I just revert back to that when I get a bit annoyed with people like constantly contacting me to see if the baby came here. Like, I just feel really blessed that everyone is checking in on me. Um, and to go along with my advice to try to de-stress, you know, find things that work for you, whether it's like massage, yoga, walk, meditation, that type of thing. And whenever I do start to get stressed about the impending labor or, um, you know, any outside things that are affecting me, I'll always just revert back to thinking about how excited I'm going to be and like how awesome it'll be to meet this baby boy that I haven't met before but he's been punching and kicking inside of me this whole time so those are my pieces of advice just to wrap everything else up I hope your pregnancy goes well and you have a safe and successful delivery um, be sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos on um, pregnancy or birth 
I mean, I have tons of videos on health, fitness, and beauty topics as well. So we'll look forward to seeing you on the next one. Thank you.